Hi, I'm Kevin Pang. I'm Jeffy Pang. Dad, what if I told you that we're going to be cooking with three cups of chili peppers today? I would say, Buckle up. You all remember this from childhood, right? Let's go fishing. I bought this for you when you were young. Yeah, it's like six years old when I got this. So <laughs> the fish is spinning around, and the object of the game is you have to catch one of these fishes before everyone else does. All right, you win. My dad wins, as always. So the dish that we're making today, dry chili chicken, is a little bit like let's go fishing. You've got this big platter full of red chili peppers and bobbing around are these crispy nuggets of fried chicken. And the object of this game is you need to fish out the crispy chicken before everyone else does. Dry chili chicken, la ji ji, is a famous dish for Chongqing. From Chongqing. A city in Sichuan. La ji ji, did I say that right? Ji. Okay, that's dry chili chicken. This recipe was developed by <laughs> test cook David mm. Yu. Thank you, David. It comes from our brand new cookbook, a very Chinese cookbook, shameless plug. And I got to admit, out of the 104 recipes in that book, dry chili chicken is top five for me. So you really got to make this. Are we ready, Dad? Let's go chicken. Huh? See what he did there? Very clever. All right, so let's start with the batter first. We have with us here two thirds of a cup of cornstarch. We love cooking with cornstarch because it makes the food light and crispy. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put this into the bowl here. Two thirds of a cup of cornstarch. We also have a third of a cup of all purpose flour. And finally, we have half a teaspoon of baking powder. This is going to give the batter some lift you can give it some lightness, and we're going to whisk everything together. And now we're going to add the water. This is three quarters of a cup of water. Add it to the cornstarch flour and baking powder, and we're going to whisk this together. How's my whisking? Just one direction. <laughs> one direction. Also your favorite band, right? Yes. <laughs> All right, so this is looking smooth. We'll set this aside momentarily. And we have here the star of the show. This is a pound and a half of skinless, boneless chicken thighs. And uh, we really only use dark meat chicken, right? Ah, uh, yes. Chinese don't really fry chicken breast. Only dark meat because it's more juicy. It's juicier. More juicy. Okay, we're gonna add the juiciness with some flavor. And here we've got a tablespoon of light soy sauce. Mm -hmm. We also have a tablespoon of Shaoxing wine. We're gonna mix this together, and we will cover the chicken. And we're gonna place both the chicken and the batter in the fridge. It's gonna stay there for half an hour, and then it's time to get frying. <laughs> It's been half an hour. We've taken both bowls out of the fridge. And if you watch the show, this is our familiar deep frying setup. We've got two rimmed baking sheets with wire racks. One's got a triple layer of paper towels, one does not. We've got our slotted spoon, our whisk, our spider skimmer, our tongs. And of course, we have our Dutch oven. This has got an inch and a half of oil and we've set this at 400 degrees. Because we fry so hot, you want to use the peanut oil. Of course, you can use a vegetable oil. Yeah, we happen to like peanut oil. It's got a higher smoke point. It's the best oil for frying, but you can use vegetable oil as well. Okay, so now we've got these two bowls here. I'm going to re-whisk this batter, just to get things going here. Mm -hmm. And we've got our chicken, which has been marinating with the soy sauce and the Shaoxing wine. These are fairly small pieces. They're one inch pieces. And we're gonna dump all this into the batter, just like that. I'll just dump all this like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna very gently just mix this together. You can use your hand. I can use my hands? Your hands clean. <laughs> yes, my hands are clean, okay. So um, why don't I do that? We're gonna give this a nice uh, Chinese massage, mm -hmm. acupressure. And I'm going to take half the chicken and I'm gonna place this onto the wire rack with no paper towels. And we're gonna let some of the batter, excess batter drip mm -hmm. for about a minute. So this is about half the chicken. I think this looks good. 
Okay? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna let this drip. And the oil is about to hit 400 degrees, so I think we're gonna be good. All right, so Dad, if you can pick up the spider skimmer and the tong, since I've got dirty hands, I'm gonna feed you okay. this chicken here. Okay. All right. And you're gonna drop this into the oil, and how long will this take, Dad? It's about two minutes. You're looking for the light golden brown. Light golden brown, okay. Golden brown. So let's drop that in there first. Okay. Just dump that all in there. And let me give you really quickly the other half. You have to be quick. Move pieces around, otherwise it's thick. Yeah, you don't want like a big clump of fried chicken yes. here. So you're gonna have, you might have to like break the pieces with the tongs here, okay? Yes. Be yes. very careful. This is really hot oil, 400 degrees. I'm gonna take the other half of the chicken. I'm gonna place this onto our wire rack and let the drip. You know, there's no other way to do this other than super messily, but guess what? It's gonna turn out really tasty. These are great. We're gonna let them drain, and we're gonna bring the oil back up to 400 degrees, and then we're gonna fry the second batch. We fried this once. This is a beautiful light golden brown, but guess what? We want extra crunchy. We'll fry a second time. That's right, we're gonna fry it two times. The first time to get that crispy exterior, the second time to get that crunchy crust, and that's what we're looking for. So we've got a fresh set of paper towels here. We brought the oil back up to 400 degrees. So go ahead, Dad, put the chicken back into the oil. Give it a second fry. And this time we're looking for not a light golden brown, but a deep, lustrous golden brown. We're gonna fry it this time between two and four minutes. And you also wanna keep this stirring because it tends to stick together even at this stage. Oh, yes. This is looking beautiful. It's all about color at this point. You think this is good enough? Yes. Okay, good. all right. We got some fresh paper towels here. I'll let this drain. We'll bring the oil back up to 400, fry the second batch, and then it's time for the wok. This is my dad's favorite part of this recipe. This is when beautiful spices are gonna come together and bloom. It's gonna make your kitchen smell extra fragrant. Yes, so uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Let's walk through these one by one. First, we're gonna do the spice mix. Here we have a quarter cup of Sichuan red chili flakes. We're gonna place this into the small bowl here. If you don't have Sichuan chili flakes, you can use Italian red pepper flakes in a pinch. It will sort of work. We've got here a teaspoon and a half of sugar added to the small bowl here. We have half a teaspoon of table salt. And finally, this is a quarter teaspoon of MSG. MSG adds that rich savoriness to the dishes. Now I know MSG is a little controversial to some, but for us Chinese, not really. We use it all the time. If you want to leave it out, go ahead, live your best life. If you use soy sauce, you're already using MSG. So we don't mind. Yeah, we really don't mind. Okay, we got the small bowl here. We'll give this a nice little whisk, combine everything. All right, we'll set the spice mix aside. In the meantime, we've got our favorite wok. My dad's gonna turn this on to medium high heat. And we'll let this preheat here for a few minutes. We're looking for it to get quite smoking hot here. And everything's gonna come together in the wok. We've got our aromatics here. We have six minced garlic cloves. We have four scallions sliced thin. We have one inch knob of ginger that's been cut into matchsticks. And this right here, is Sichuan peppercorn. This is what's gonna give this dish that beautiful Novocaine-like quality. You call it ma-la. Ma-la. ma, -la. ma, -la. ma -la. Okay, so that's what's gonna give it that really numbing quality. Don't omit this from this dish. That's two tablespoons of Sichuan peppercorns. And finally, ho-ho, this is three cups of Sichuan red chili peppers. These are dried, and yes, I said three cups. <laughs> you might be thinking, Pangs, you are crazy, but let me ask you, Dad, are we gonna be eating three cups of chili? Uh, no, <laughs> no, this is only for decoration. Okay. Okay, and also add the aroma to the dish. It adds the aroma, yes. So uh, as you're eating it, you're gonna get that really beautiful fruity aroma of these peppers, of these toasted peppers. It's almost like a, um, like a Chinese Chanel number no. five. Right? Exactly. Okay, great. Now this wok is preheated. You can see wisps of smoke coming from the wok. And remember the deep frying oil that we used earlier? Well, we don't want to waste this, so we've reserved a quarter cup of oil from earlier, 
and we're gonna add it around the perimeter of the dish while it's smoking, right? Remember, always add oil to the hot wok, not to a cold wok. Not to the cold wok. Yes. Very, very important yes. here. Okay, great. So now I'm going to add it around here. You can see it is already <laughs> smoking, and my dad is going to use his favorite metal spatula, and I'm gonna turn this down to a medium low, and I'm gonna take the garlic, scallion, and ginger, and we're gonna add this really quickly. Okay. This will take about two minutes. So you ready? Yeah, I'm okay. ready. Here we go. Here's the scallions, and here is the ginger. So you really wanna move this because you don't want this to get burnt here. It's been two minutes. This is smelling incredible. Now it's time for the red peppers and the Sichuan peppercorns. Things are about to get super spicy. So let me add first the red chili peppers and I'm also gonna add the Sichuan peppercorns. And what's gonna happen now is that this is gonna start getting toasty. It's gonna release those beautiful pungent aromatics. You can see it getting really nice and slick. Yeah. And you really wanna keep tossing and it's only gonna take a minute before you add the chicken. It smells so good. It smells incredible <laughs> in this kitchen here. Okay. And, ooh, I can get the spiciness in the back of my nose as okay. well too. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, should we add the chicken? Uh -oh, yes. Okay, <clears throat> I think we're ready. We're gonna take all this chicken from earlier and I'm gonna dump it right in here, okay? Okay. Okay, okay here we go. Okay. Just like that, I hope I get all of it. Okay. Yes, wow. in one take, one take Kevin. And you're gonna keep tossing this. And finally, I'm gonna take the spice mix from earlier and I'm gonna sprinkle it on top of the chicken. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, just look at that color. It is so vibrant, so beautiful. And this will take about 30 seconds more until it's well coated. And in the meantime, I'm gonna take this plate because we are ready to serve. Where's my cilantro? Oh, your cilantro, that's oh. right. Well, we have to turn off the heat first. Okay. We're gonna add the cilantro off heat. This is half a cup of chopped cilantro. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna add it right on top. Look at that. Just look at this color. Everything's ready. Okay, can I help you like yep. this? It smells absolutely incredible. You can see the red chili peppers are nice and blistered. Just look at this. This beautiful tableau of chili peppers and crispy nuggets of chicken. I think the only thing that's missing is a teaspoon of toasted sesame seeds, which I'll sprinkle on top. Yeah, here we go. This is dry chili chicken. We've been waiting literally minutes, and I know it is a torture for my dad to wait minutes to try <laughs> this dish. So are you ready to yes. let's go chicken? Let's go chicken. All right, let's pick up a piece here. This looks extra crunchy. <laughs> here we go. Mmm, so good. No hyperbole, guys. This is one of the best recipes in the book. Thanks, David Yu. Not that spicy. It's not that spicy. And I can't tolerate spicy foods. And this is like a right amount of heat. You're getting a lot of that aroma from the toasted red chili peppers. You're getting sweetness, savoriness, the garlic and the ginger really coming through. But it's really well balanced and the chicken super crunchy as well. Is this like the dry chili chicken you have in China? Mm, very much, yes. Yeah. Dry chili chicken, it's in a very Chinese cookbook. You gotta try it sometime. <laughs> On a one to 10 scale, how much spiciness can you handle? A one, a wimp like me, or a 10 like my dad? Let us know in the comments below. And for this recipe, go to americastestkitchen.com slash pang or scan this QR code. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe.